Welcome dear learners. This video is on grade 8 chapter 3 advanced features of access 2013. In the previous chapter we learned that access is a RDBMS software. Tables, forms, queries and reports are the most important objects that can be created in an in an access database. In real life scenarios, hundreds of records are stored in the database table. Access objects such as queries, forms and reports provide a convenient and easy way to enter, search, analyze and display the large amounts of data stored in the database table. Queries Let's us quickly extract data from one or more tables based on the given conditions. Forms and reports lets us enter or display data in a user-friendly manner. Let us learn more about these objects. Queries. A query is used to retrieve selective data based on specific criteria from one or more tables. For example, you may design a query to display names of all the students who have scored more than 90% or a query to find out details of customers who have made a purchase in a past one month. Let us learn to create simple queries in Access. Just like tables, there is a query design view in which queries are created and queries datasheet view in which result of the query are displayed. Let us create a query based on table. Now, I already have a database created named hospital and my table name is doctor. Now let us create a query for this table doctor. To create a query, click on the create tab. Click on the query design option in the queries group. This is the queries group and you have to click on the query design option. The show table dialog box appears. Choose the table on which you want to base your query and click on add button. I'll choose the table and I'll click on add button. After adding the table, click on the close button to close the show table dialog box. The selected table appears in the small window in the upper section of the query view. The lower section of the query design view the lower section the lower section of the query design view displays the design grade add the fields to be used in the query in the design grade by following any one of the following double click on the field name in the small table window in the upper section of the query design view now when I double click, it has been added. The second method is drag and drop fields from small table window in the upper section to the field common column in the design grid. So when I drag the name field in the design grid, it has been added. In this example, we will add DID, name, hospital, and speciality to the grid to the design grid type the search condition in the criteria row of the field on the basis of which you want to choose or filter the record in this example type the condition as greater than 600 in the criteria row of field
clear the show check box of the fields that should not appear in the query result if you want the query result to be sorted then select ascending or descending order from the sort box under the field so if i want this to be in ascending or descending order so i can sort this as ascending or descending order below the field option so here is ascending or descending option i can select it from here if any data any field wise ascending decide it's descending i want my data to be sorted as click on the save option in the quick access toolbar or save option in the file tab to save the query so i'll click on save in the quick access toolbar you will notice that query object get added to the navigation pane and i'll have to name the query i'll name the query as query 1 and i'll click on uh i'll give the name as doctor p query as we have given the condition for p and i'll click okay when you save this you will see that in the navigation pane the query column is been added click on run option in the results group of the design tab to execute the query the query results appear in the data sheet view which looks like a table can you see the doctors with c greater than 600 are been displayed in the data sheet view this is how you create a table now let us also see how to create a query with multiple conditions let us learn to create queries with more than one condition so again i will go on my table doctor specify the conditions in the criteria row for more than one field will result in the query that will select only those records which meet all the conditions consider the following queries based on the table doctor so for creating a query i'll again go to create query design i'll select the table i'll click on add and i will close the show table i will add all the fields i want the data of to the grid view then i am going to add my multiple conditions so i want the records of the doctors whose fee is less than 600 and the name where and also the name of the hospital and also the name of doctor record who is is in sorry i have typed in sort i'll have to i have to type this in criteria so i'll type the criteria 600 and hospital has heal well heal well hospital
okay so i have given the criteria now i will click on save i will name this i will name this query as doc fee underscore house hostel and i'll click okay so it will appear over here and when i double click it on the query in the navigation pane the result will be displayed so the doctors whose fees is greater than 600 and also the doctor with hillwell hospital as name both the records are been displayed now we will consider one more example the following query shows the record for which fees will again click on doctors table so the now we will create a query again where you have multiple condition Okay, I will select the field in the design grid, which I want the records to be displayed. Okay. So the following query shows the records for which the fees is greater than equal to six hundred, and the hospital is Hillwell Hospital, and the specialization is neurologist. okay so we will specify the condition hospital is equal to hill well hospital and the fees is greater than equal to 600 and also one more criteria is the specialty is near for near for logist okay and i will again save the query i'll write doc underscore p underscore specialty and i'll click on okay now when i click on the query in the navigation pane you'll see the doctor with the old doctor only with hillwell hospital and the fee is greater than equal to 100 and neurologist all the three criterias where all the three criterias were satisfied though only that record has been displayed specifying the first condition in the criteria row and the other condition in the row beneath it results in a query that meets one or more of the specified condition so we will see this example where again we will create one more query where create query we'll select the table and i'll click on close i will add the query to the design grid and see now we will try one more new thing that we will specify one criteria in the criteria box and that is fee is fee is greater than 600 and hospital is hillwell hospital but can you see i have specified this in or row i have written this in or row so when you specify first condition 
in the first criteria row and the second condition in the or row what happens is the result in the query will meet one or more of the one or more of the specified condition okay even if one of the specified condition is true the result the record will be displayed in the result so when i will st store this when i will save this and save doc underscore c underscore or hospital and i'll click on okay and when i click on this you will see all the doctors with all the doctors with greater than 600 is also displayed and all the doctors with hillwell hospital are displayed so even if one of the condition is satisfied the record will be displayed when you write one and condition in criteria and the other condition in the or row so this is how you create the query now we will see one more example the following again we will click on doctor create query design i will add the table and now we will see the query the following query shows the records for which the fee is greater than equal to 600 or the hospital is hillwell hospital or the specialization is neurologist so the query where all the three conditions are satisfied the that records will be resulted in the result so let us add the fields now to the design grid now i will add the criteria the first criteria i will add is fee greater than equal to 600 in the or criteria i will add hospital is equal to hill well hospital and in the below row i'll write the specialty as equal to bracket uh, double quotes new for law just double quotes closed and again i will save the query save i'll write doc and i'll click on okay and when i'll run this query you will see the doctors with greater than 600 fee then the doctors of hillwell hospital and the records with neurologist everything is being displayed okay so this is how you create query now further we are going to see the forms we are going to learn about forms forms provide an interface that allows user to enter change and view the data in database tables forms are made up of elements such as text box labels and so on these elements are known as controls now you can work on forms in three views form view you can enter edit and view data in the form view layout view you can view the data and make changes in the form such as change the size of various controls design view design view displays only the structure of your form in this view you cannot see the underlying data but you can perform some task in design view that you cannot perform in layout view such as view the header and footer so let us see how to create a form click on the table in the navigation pane on which the form should be based click on create tab click on form option 
in the forms group the form is create the form created is open in the layout view this is a layout view you can change the view to the form view and enter or display data in the table i can change the view from the view option i'll select the form view and now i'll be able to change the now i'll be able to change my so i'll write varun verma i will be able to change my record in the form view so now you will see you can change the view to the form view and enter or display data in the table three new tabs design arrange and format appear in the ribbon click on save option in the quick access toolbar or save option in the file tab to save the form so when i'll save i'll write as doctor underscore form and i'll click on f r and form okay and if you see in the navigation pane the form object has been created now formatting a form you can change the appearance of the form by using the various option on the design and format tab let us see use some of this option using the design tab using the design tab you can add a logo and title to your report by making use of logo and title option in the header footer group of the design tab now if i want to add a logo i'll go on logo and select a logo from the local files of my computer so i have selected a logo but the file has become small but i hope you have understood how to select the logo okay and this is how you can change the header and footer in the design view you can change the header and footer in the design view now you can also change the title of the form in the design view okay this is how you can change the title so i'll write doctor form now using the format tab you can format the font size color you you now you you can format the font color size alignment add a background image change the color of shape and so on using the options in the format tab now these are the various options available and you can change the font and also the size of it and can make it 20 i can make it and i can also change the color of my so this is how you can edit a form and when you click the changes will be saved to form and now you can also change the view and this is the form view how your form will look and it has been saved next is reports reports are used to present data from tables or queries in a format that can be printed printouts of report cards invoices are examples of reports you cannot make changes to data in a report you can work on a report in four views report view you can view data in this view but cannot make any design related changes print view this view displays the report 
as it will appear after printing and the last is design view design view displays only the structure of your report in this view you cannot see the underlying data but you can perform some task in the design view that you cannot perform in layout view such as view the header and footer layout you can view the data and make changes in the report such as change the size of various controls now let us see how to create a report now click first click on the table or query for which you want to create a report now suppose i want to create a report for doctor's table i'll click on the doctor's table click on the create tab click on the report option in the reports group the report is created and opens in layout view four view tabs design arrange format and page setup appears in the ribbon these are the four options that appear after creating the report click on the save option in the quick access toolbar or save option in the file tab to save the report you will notice that the report objects get added to the navigation pane when i click on save and i'll give the name report the report object will be saved in the navigation pane next we are going to see formatting a report just like a form you can report you can format a report using the options on the design and format tab using the design and the format tab we can also format the reports next is printing reports you can print reports using the print option under the file tab or by using the print view in the of a report so if i go on hey home and print view this view show how report will appear on the page so let us choose the page orientation page setup and so on click on the down arrow under the view option i'll close this view i'll go in home down option in the view views group on the home tab of the design tab click on the print preview option the report is displayed in the manner it in which it would be appear on the page so i'll click on print preview, preview this is how the report will appear on the page choose appropriate size of page size margin and orientation from the ribbon so i can select an appropriate page size okay i have selected an appropriate page size then i can also select margin for my page okay if i want narrow i can make it narrow but my data should fit properly okay and also i can change the orientation now it is portrait i can also make it to landscape click on the print command to print the report now i can click on the print to print my report and how i can see it over here in the similar way my report will be printed you can click on the close print view preview button in the close preview group to print view tab to return to the report or layout view and now we have returned to the layout view so this is the end of the chapter and we have learned how to create queries okay queries with single criteria and also multiple criteria we have learned how to create forms and reports and how to format forms and reports i hope you have understood thank you bye take care